Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my, uh, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, please feel free to subscribe. And to everyone that has subscribed, thank you so much for 18,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. And you stay winning to me. If you want me to react to something, drop the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. If you want to reach out to us, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram called Fanny and Jesse. And just feel free to talk to us. Um, so a big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to what is the true religion. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. What are the measures which the rational people agree upon and which they can use to measure the nature of the true religion? Some of these measures are Belief in God The human has to believe in a deity. He can call him God or he can call him anything else. He can be a tree, planet, woman, image, or a singer he is passionate about. So, the human has to believe in something that he would follow and cherish. He would refer to him in his method of life. He might even die for him, and this is what we call worship. As for the true God, he is a creator. He knows the hidden and concealed matters. He is all-knowing of the unseen. He has the power and will, and he makes all things happen according to what he wills. He is wise. He does not do anything except for certain wisdom. He is just, and because of his justice, he rewards and punishes. He has a link with humans. He will not be their Lord if he creates them and then abandons them. This is why he sends messengers to them to clarify the right path for them and to notify humans of his method. The one who follows this method will be worthy of getting the reward and the one who leaves it will be worthy of punishment. There has to be a place for the reward, which is paradise, and a place for punishment, which is the hellfire. If he is not capable of admitting them in either of these places, then he is not a god. The religion. We need an accurate definition of religion because if it is a method for life and the path to the afterlife, it has to have attributes to consider it as the true religion. One, it has to be close to the basic nature of humans, which represents all the good qualities and traits in humans. Two, consistency. It has to be a consistent religion for all generations, countries, and all kinds of humans. It has to be a religion that does not increase or decrease according to desires. Three, the beliefs of this religion have to be clear and evident. There should be no visible and invisible matters, and this religion should not be a mediator. The religion should not be taken based on mere spiritualities. It has to have an evident and reliable proof. 4. The religion has to tackle all issues of life at every time. It has to be suitable for life and also the afterlife. It has to build the body, and it should not forget the spirit as well. 5. This religion has to protect the life of the people and their honors. There has to be no unlawful mixing of lineages and it has to protect their wealth. Islam is in conformity with the creation and nature of humans. There is no contradiction between Islam and the nature of humans and this is why it is the religion of the natural disposition. Almighty God has created the human and defined the method for him to follow. This method is commensurate with the nature and needs of the human. This method is the religion. Whoever does not follow this religion will be in a state of chaos, instability, and spiritual and psychological discomfort, in addition to the torture in the afterlife. The Islamic religion has clear beliefs. It is not satisfied with establishing the commands and teachings by abstract obligation and strict dictation. Islam does not say like other beliefs, believe blindly, or believe then no, or close your eyes then follow me.
Islam does not only address the heart and spirit and depend on them as a foundation for belief, it also explains the matters with evident and convincing reasoning, clear proof, and true justification that persuade the mind and reach the hearts. The Quran is the book of God and his words. It did not change despite the passing of hundreds of years and despite the dissimilarities among countries and civilizations. It is still the same as it was revealed. It is still leading the Muslims in their worldly life and their path to the afterlife. The Quran establishes proofs about the matter of divinity from the universe, the spirit, the history of the existence of God, his oneness and completeness. It also establishes proofs in terms of resurrection. It proves the potential of creating humans, creating the heavens and the earth, and reviving the land after her death. It shows God's wisdom through justice in rewarding the good doer and punishing the bad doer. The Islamic religion is complete for all matters of life. It is flexible because it is close to the human nature, which God has created humans according to her rulings. There is no Muslim that does not know the signs of the truth. The universe leads him to the oneness of God Almighty. What the messenger, peace be upon him, brought proves his truthfulness and prophethood. The Muslim knows quite well that whoever said that God is the third of three is misleading and astray. Also, who said that God felt tired and rested on Saturday after the creation of the heavens and the earth is a misled disbeliever. The Muslim also sees clearly the disbelief of the idol worshippers and their delusion. The deluded atheists are even worse. Quite an interesting video. I mean, I love the way they've described what religion is. But then I've asked you guys this question before and I'm going to ask it again. So what happens to our great 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 like go to the beginning great um ancestors or something what happens because those guys may have died before um the islamic religion was introduced or was founded what happens to those ones are they going to go to hell because uh islam didn't happen then what happens to the things that they used to pray to or whatever they believed in then or the way they the way of life that they believed in what's going to happen to that otherwise all they say um uh watching or reacting to videos is not about criticizing rather it's about learning something i've come across this video it sparked a question out of me i'm asking you guys that if that if you know please answer me and feel free to suggest any other videos that may try to answer um um my question or that's going to expand my knowledge more otherwise let me know what you guys think and a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video